Today on the channel I've got this Jeep which I'm going to be cleaning and protecting using the help of some products by G3 Pro and Mile Deep which have been kindly sent for review so I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts on them as we go throughout this video. So the very first thing I did on this car was use Mile Deep Citrus Pre-Wash which is called Release at a 1 in 5 dilution in my IK sprayer and sprayed that all into the arches and all over the wheels just to pre-wash them as they were very dirty so I thought this approach would help rather than just going in with a pressure washer straight away to make my life a little bit easier later on in the process. I also used that mild deep citrus to clean the tyres but this time I used it neat as I did feel like I would need something pretty powerful to be able to tackle the amount of dirt build up on these tyres. I also used the product again at a 1 in 5 ratio in the arches. The citrus worked really really well on these tyres and I was quite pleasantly surprised at how much dirt it was able to draw out. It did require a second hit to get them completely clean but for comparison I did actually use Autocon's Rebound which is a dedicated tyre cleaner on the other side of the vehicle and that pulled out a similar level of dirt and again required that second hit so I do think this is a very potent product. On the alloy faces and barrels I did use G3 Pro's wheel cleaner which has a built in iron fallout remover as well and this did a really really great job at getting these wheels completely clean. It foamed up very nicely when agitated. The only complaint is that the product didn't smell too great but this isn't something that's pretty unavoidable with products like this which have an iron fallout remover built in. To kick off the pre-wash on this vehicle I again went in with that 1 in 5 mixture of Release by Mile Deep and I applied that using the IK sprayer all over the lower sections of the vehicle as these were the areas that were most heavily contaminated. Once that citrus had had a couple of minutes to dwell on the surface, I then coated the car using mild deep snow foam and I used that at a 1 to 15 ratio here. You can use this snow foam at anywhere between a 1 to 10 and a 1 to 20 dilution but I found that this 1 to 15 dilution was spot on in terms of the consistency of the product. This is a pH neutral snow foam so it's a bit more gentle on protection compared to alkaline snow foams but it doesn't have quite as much kick to it and works best on vehicles that are either protected or just don't have quite as heavy contamination so that's why I use the citrus underneath it as well. Once the pre-wash products had been allowed to dwell for around 10 minutes I then went ahead and rinsed them off with pressure and I was really really impressed with how they both worked to pre-wash this vehicle. There wasn't the toughest layer of traffic film to fight through but there was zero protection on this vehicle which definitely gives a pre-wash a harder challenge but I actually let one of the panels air dry so I could see what the difference was like before and after pre-washing and I actually couldn't see any dirt whatsoever remaining which is incredibly rare so I am really looking forward to using this combination again. The next step was to go in with the contact wash and here I use Mile Deep Cleanse which is their pH neutral pure shampoo. There's a bit of a range of dilution ratios that you can use but here I worked out that I'd probably need about 50ml in around 18 litres of water in my buckets. So it isn't the most economical products that I have ever tried, however the experience using it was fantastic and I really can't fault it. 
There was a great level of suds and slickness and it just felt really, really nice and safe on the panel. And the stability of the foam in the bucket also really impressed me as well. I left the buckets out for an hour and a half after starting the contact wash and there was still plenty of foam left in them by the end of that. I also used the Mile Deep Citrus but here at a 10% concentration in one of the spray bottles that they kindly sent and I just used this in combination with a few brushes to get into the more intricate areas that the mitt couldn't reach effectively. Once I'd finished up with a contact wash, I did rinse off the vehicle and then towel dried it to get it ready for that chemical decon stage. So the first products I'm using here as part of the chemical decon stage is Resolve, which is Mile Deep's tar and glue remover. There were a lot of tar spots, particularly on the rear of the vehicle and also behind the wheels, and this product did a great job at removing them. I found that most of the tar spots could be wiped away in 30 seconds, only the really sort of heavier ones needed a second hit. The next thing I did was apply purple, which is Mile Deep's iron fallout remover, all over this vehicle. And although it isn't a great colour to be able to demonstrate the reaction, there was tonnes of iron contamination on the car, so it was really worth doing this step. As you might have noticed when I've been using some of the other Mile Deep products, they all have really, really good spray heads. And I think particularly when I'm using a product like this, which has more of a gel-like consistency to give it that better cling, using a really good trigger head just helps the overall experience. So I do appreciate that Mile Deep have put some thought into the packaging and gone for a premium option in terms of the trigger sprays. After this chemical decon stage, I did give the car another quick wash with the Mile Deep shampoo just to make sure there wasn't any residue remaining as well. As I was going to be applying a foam cannon sealant to this vehicle, I wanted to make sure the glass was ultra clean before applying any protection to it, as I find that if there's any sort of water or soap stains and you apply coating over the top, you do risk having some wiper judder. So in order to give the glass a little bit more of a deeper clean, I did use the Smooth Egg Clay Bar by Soft99, just lubricated with a bit of that Mile Deep shampoo. After that, I also used Carpro Seri Glass. So this polish just helps to prep the glass by removing any chemical or water stains. Carpro Seri Glass can be a little bit of a pain to remove, especially if you let it dry, which I did. So in order to give it a bit more encouragement, I used the Mile Deep Glass Cleaner to ensure that that was properly removed before moving on to that next step. And this did a great job at removing all that residue and making sure the glass was squeaky clean before protecting it. So to apply protection to those exterior surfaces, I'm using Mile Deep Sheen, which is described as their gloss drying aid. So this is a foam cannon sealant which you can apply in multiple different dilution ratios but when you first use it it's recommended to go for around a 1 to 10 ratio. Spray it onto the car and ideally let it dwell for 5 minutes but making sure that it doesn't dry out and potentially rinsing it off sooner if you do notice it start to happen. Using a foaming sealant like this is probably the quickest and easiest way you can apply protection to the entire vehicle. When I rinsed the product off, there was some decent water behaviour left behind. It wasn't the most sort of exciting to look at, and it definitely had a tendency to sheet more than it did to bead, which I know a lot of people do prefer. I would have liked it if the sheeting happened maybe a touch quicker, but the product was applied to a vehicle that had zero protection, so I can't really complain with the level of performance based on how long it actually took to apply. I do think this is a kind of product that excels more at sort of boosting the protection on a vehicle, and in that case you can use it at a weaker dilution, so you do get more value for money out of it as well in that instance. Once I had made sure that the products had been rinsed from all those exterior surfaces thoroughly, 
I then dried the vehicle using the combination of the dryer to blast water out of areas such as the grill, mirrors and headlights and then just used a twisted loop drying towel to mop up the excess on the panels. In order to make the tyres and trim look a little bit newer, I used Mile Deep's tyre and trim dressing. So I just applied this to a microfiber applicator and worked it in until I was happy with the finish. It is a reasonably thick gel, which I thought might have a little bit of an issue with. However, when I was using it, I actually found that it spread very evenly and didn't leave any sort of streaks or smears and it was a very easy product to work with. On the trim, it did leave a very nice natural finish that definitely didn't feel or look greasy. And on the tyres, it left a pretty glossy finish, but again was really easy to work in. 